Kirsty, are you up? Did you sleep down here? I thought it was me that I wanted, man. What's happened? Happy birthday, Ty. All my love. Fizz. Kiss. 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 Where's that come from? I'm going to work. No, please, don't. I'm going to ask Julie if me and Ruby can stay with her for a few days. I want now to do with Fizz, you know that. Oh, and yet a precious card goes up, pride of place. Well, I didn't put it there, I swear. I can't even look at you. How's he got here? Don't treat me like an idiot. I didn't put it there. And yeah, I did sleep down here. You think I'd get into bed with a snoring, heartless drunk who puts his ex's cards up just to wind me up? No, I wouldn't. She's been stalking me, she admitted it. Pride of place! Look, I swear on my life, I swear on Ruby's life, I did not... You dare swear your lies on my daughter's life! Eileen, if you're going to finish the loo roll, Shh. then... What? It's kicking off again next door. This is none of our business. Shush! They're supposed to be getting married. That poor baby. So you had the card when I got back from work, but you never said? Well, maybe it was later. I don't know because of what Nout to do with it. Yeah, right. She's trying to cause trouble. And listen to us. We're letting her win. Please, don't go to Julie's. That's what she wants. And we're supposed to be seeing the vicar at dinner time, aren't we? About our wedding. Supposedly. That's what matters. Us. And the only card that I care about is the one of you and Ruby. Deep down. You know that. You do, don't you? Get this mess tidied up. Yourself. Sorry, I'll get you some more tea. Run it under the tap. We we'll get the first thing. No, aid. just ignore me, Roy. I'm just being a mad. Oh, mad is not a word I'd readily choose to describe you, Fizz. It's not a word I'd readily choose at all. I'm sorry, I just didn't sleep well. No, I'll, I'll be with you, Tyrone. Mind the spillage. Yeah, right. I'll finish that. Hiya. Anyone from the factory been in for the cakes? I need to speak to you, but Kirsty can't find out. Right, hang on. Roy, can we just borrow upstairs for a sec? Uh, Just for five minutes. Yeah, yes, well, all right, of course. Uh, if you'd like to leave the baby down... Yeah, I'll take her with me. All right, well, look, apart the pram down. No, I'll take it. Right. He took them all down, every single one. Great a party pooper. Yeah. Mine cost four ninety nine because at Badge. Some of you won't be minding his 30. Well, we inflicted that surprise party on him. Oh! Oh! I've gone blind. Oh, I've torn my gusset now. All right, everyone, feet off pedals, please. I'll see if there's a fuse tripped. Has Carla start giving you 50 p's for the meter? <laughs> <laughs> so you pushed it through the door about four o'clock? Why? Hey? Why would I do that? Because you're still after me. You're still trying to cause trouble between me and Kirsty. All oh, right, so that's what you want me to say, is it? If anyone asks, in spite of everything, losing my job, losing my mates, being publicly shown up as a crazy stalker that I still won't give up? Yeah. You've got to. I noticed the card was missing, you know, when I got home from the pub. After you told me to stay away, I realised I hadn't got it. So why didn't you warn me? How could I? She checks your phone, doesn't she, for calls and for texts. I can't speak to you, I can't knock at your door, I can't even ask someone to pass a message on to you because they all think I'm obsessed with you. Won't be forever. I waited till I thought you and Kirsty would be asleep. Crept up the ginnel. Used my phone as a torch, I was hoping that I'd drop the card somewhere. I was terrified, thinking that someone had seen me peering in your backyard. And I thought, hang on, what the hell's happened here? I'm crawling round bins in a back alley in the middle of the night, freezing, scared to death. And why? Because I gave a mate a card on his birthday. It's not normal. I need to know you'll back me up. That's all. So will you? Right, well, you might as well get an early lunch then while the spark gets the power back on. So back in an hour. Me and Tyrone are meeting the vicar at one. Well, can you not bring it forward? I think he's got a funeral or something. Shame on you, inventing a dead person to get a double dinner. It's true. Uh, back at one. Ten to. Mm. 
No, come on, we're busy. So, and, uh, Kirsty, get back as soon as you can, yeah? Okay. Do you know what I thought you were here for when you turned up with Ruby just now? Stupid when I think about it. Go on. I thought maybe you'd change your mind. What about? About what happened between us last night. It was a stupid kiss. Shouldn't have happened. All I care about now is getting to that wedding. Yeah, I know. I know. And it was me pushing for that, saying marrying Kirst, it was the only way. It is. My name is not on that birth certificate. I need rights over Ruby, and marrying Kirst is... But she's doing so much damage. I'll be OK. No. The state of you when you came in here, and that's when she's not even hitting you. But that's not the worst thing. At least when she hits me, I'm not waiting for it, wondering when it's going to happen again. Not knowing what it'll set it off. I know it's over for a bit. How long can you go on like that for, though? I'm scared who you'll be on the other side of it. If you'll even make it to the wedding. I'll make it. For Rupert, I'll make it. She wants to know where I am. He's not there. Well, come for one with us. But you never want to face a vicar entirely sober. I'm going to go to the cafe. No, no, Fizz will be there. I know. Wait, what, has something happened? A big soppy birthday card happened. Oh, and Fizz, but she promised to leave him alone. <laughs> don't, Kirsty. She's just going to upset you. Come for a drink with us. You don't want to do this before the vicar. Go after work. I I'll come with you. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I'm going to wait for my own. I'll see you later. Hello? Why didn't you answer my text? Did you text? Where are you? I took Ruby for a walk. Where? Just round about. We've got to get to the church. Yeah, I know, but the appointment's not till quarter past one. I want to get there early, see if he's free, because we're on an early lunch. I don't want to push things with Michelle. Well, it was his birthday, I suppose. Well, don't defend her, Sean. You know how distressing this has all been for Kirsty. He's promised to leave him alone. It must be nice, though, to have someone that obsessed with you. Beth, it's called stalking. I do feel sorry for Fizz, but she has lost her marbles over Tyrone. Poor Kirsty. You go first. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's not an exam. I'd like to find out a bit about people. Make it personal. Tell me what Kirsty means to you. Hmm? What this marriage means. It's a future. It's the future. See, I've... I've never really been good at out. That's not true. It is. Didn't even take me exams at school. Wasn't much point. Only got picked for football when half a year nine was took out by dodgy burgers. He puts himself down. You shouldn't. Hey, Ruby. One thing I knew I'd be good at. I knew I would. Is a family. You see, mine was rubbish, my real family anyway. <laughs> then I got taken in by Jack and Vera. And I seen the way they looked out for each other. And the way they looked out for me, and I thought, one day, I'm gonna look out for someone like that. And if you ever get a chance to be a dad. <laughs> Shall I take her? Sorry, sir. I just really want to marry her. <laughs> OK. <Yeah. laughs> I had a fellow sitting there yesterday as a very big local rugby player, sobbing like a three-year-old, telling me how much he loves his fiancée. Tough at the outside, the softer the underbelly. Eh? I'd say this young man's going to make a wonderful husband. Obviously loves you very much. And I love him. I do. I love you, you know that, don't you? Yeah. Good. Because a wedding isn't only a day. It's a lifetime's promise. A binding together in the sight of God, witnessed by friends and family. It's a celebration of love and a commitment to a life together. I hope you feel ready. We do, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
been late back for work, you know. Post. Not addressed to anyone. Gorgeous. This must be for you, Ruby. Just open it. Oh, where's Birdie, sweetheart? Must have dropped off in the pram. To my fiance, happy birthday, love, Kirsty and Ruby. Oh. Kiss, 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 kiss. Kiss. Thanks. Seemed all right, that vicar, didn't it? Because he didn't laugh at you for trying out for the blubbing Olympics. I'm sorry. He was apologising. It was sweet. I do love you, darling. So lovely being here with you. Don't want to go back to work. Chateau Michelle. Sorry, Ruby's lost a birdie, so me and my gorgeous fiance are going to stroll through the park all day till we find it. Fine by me. Or could hijack that burger van and scarper. Go around Europe chasing sunshine and selling jumbo sausages. The more trouble than the worth them burger vans. Trust me, I've been there. You've had a van? Yeah, yeah. You know, planned on flipping burgers at festivals, make my mint. <laughs> then I drove the flaming thing into a pond. Literally flaming. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I could smell burning, looked in my wing mirror, seeing all this smoke, panicked, headed for the nearest water. <laughs> we thought it was curtains. We? Hey? You said we. You, you and who? I just meant, you know, with the business and the van. Yeah, but who was the we that you went into the pond with? Kirk. Kirk? Yeah. That's not true. I can tell when you're lying. Why would you lie? Past, isn't it? Yes, distant past. It's Fizz. No, it wasn't Fizz. It was Molly. <laughs> so I say, Kurt, why, why would you lie if it was Molly? I don't know. I just thought we was having a good time. I didn't want yeah, to... until I said something romantic and you brought it back round to your ex. Sorry, deceased. How am I meant to compete with that? There's nothing to compete Anything with. Anything I want for us, you've already done it better with some other woman. No, that's not true. I'll just go get the car. Come on, get the car! It's already made me late. For tea. If you don't miss to tell Michelle it's my fault you're late. I'll tell her we had car trouble. <laughs> Baffle her with talk of alternator bearings. <laughs> tell her she should see my big end. <laughs> Say something, eh? I'm sorry for what I said. I am. Maybe you should call the vicar, tell him we're not ready. Well, you can't call the wedding off. You, you can't. Get off me. You can't call it off. I'll see you later. Love you. This is the end of the batch, all right? Afternoon. Well, I thought your vicar had mixed up his appointments and buried you. Look, either make up the time or I'll be docking an hour, yeah? Good to see my authority making the work for us quake. Beautiful girl. How did you end up with a daddy like me, eh? He deserves so much better. Hello? I'm sorry I lost my temper. No, no, it was my fault. It felt like such a special moment in that part. Me and Ruby feeling so happy. Like nothing else existed. All that stress, things we've both been through. Well, we can go again. Parks are places I used to go to to escape. When I was really young, when my dad was kicking off. My mum had used to try and push me out the back door to try and protect me, but I'd still hear him shouting. Things getting broken. I'm crying. So I'd run off to the park. Sit on this red plastic swing like my shoes scuff on the ground. You you know that stuff they put on the floor, like tarmac, only softer? Yeah, stop you getting hurt. 
I used to wish everything was made of that in our house. The cupboard door he opened in her face. The casserole dish she threw at her. The floor she'd land on when she fell, everything. It would look a bit stupid, wouldn't it? I'm sorry. I, I ruined everything. I'll be more careful what I say next time, I promise. Thanks. I'll do something special for tea, eh? That'd be nice. Nice bottle of wine. Don't spend too much. Uh, a fiver. OK, a fiver. Look, you're not going to call off the wedding, are you? Of course not. Don't be daft. Good. Great. Um, and I mean it. I'll be more careful next time, I promise. Bye, love. <sighs> Whatever Daddy has to do to get us through this, he'll do it. You hear me? And you won't live a single day of your life not knowing how loved you are. Not so long as I'm in the world. Yeah, what can I get you? Oh, uh, do you want a coffee or anything? We're not here for a social. Is it unnerving having people turn up where they're not welcome? I've got nothing to say to you. Oh, I think you have. An apology and I'm not leaving till I've had it. You sure you don't want to order some food then? Cos you could starve to death waiting for that. Fizz. You're not helping anybody, least of all yourself. What am I meant to have done? Trying to freak out my Tyrone again. You will apologise. Oh, yeah? Mm. You're planning to beat it out of me? Because that's your favourite way of getting what you want, isn't it? Fizz, I, I know it's difficult, but you did say that you'd stop all this nonsense with Tyrone. Happy birthday, Ty. Oh, my love. Fizz. Kiss, kiss, kiss. What were you thinking? Tyrone is sick to death of you. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't allow customers to harass my staff. But I think you'll find that it's your staff that are the harassers rather than harassees. I'd like you to leave. In fact, I'm closing early, locking up. What's that? Uh, keys. <sighs> that. Uh, that, uh, that, that, let me look, it's, um, oh, it's mine, that. It's the hopes, toy hopes. Must have dropped out my bag. <laughs> look. I apologise, OK? About the card. I get... I do things. I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Right, well, it seems you have your apology. Now, I insist you leave. Out. Mm. Mm. A couple more minutes. Not now, Ruby, please. Everything's perfect. I'm in here. Welcome. May I take Madam's coat? Table butts under the name Gorgeous, Mr. and soon to be Mrs. Gorgeous. Please take a seat. Your menu for this evening will be spag ball, followed by chocolate chip muffin. I haven't done as a starter out, but it will all be washed down with a very expensive red wine, which was in the sale, half price, under a fiver. What did you do today? After I dropped you off at work, I just Before. went to fresh. This morning? Nothing. When you weren't here, when you didn't answer my text, where did you go? Oh, what you mean with Ruby? I was just... You know, where so... did you go? Look, I just went round about to get her off to sleep, that's all. <laughs> Set off a mobile. Where, where'd you get that from? Wait, I can explain, please! You were there. I wasn't! Liar! I told her to stay away!
Take you to hospital. It's only a bruise. Only a bruise? And what is this? Is this only a bruise? And this? It's just a scar. Just a scar. These are just the ones that have left marks, Ty. It's not a hospital we should be going to, it's the police. I knew, believe me, eh? Kirsty twists things, she'd get away with it. And then she'd take Ruby. I can't lose yeah, I Ruby. I know, I know, of course you can't. I can't do it. I'm not going to make this wedding. I feel like I can't breathe. No. She's not going to destroy you. Listen to me. You'll marry that bitch. Get your parental rights if that's what it takes you to death, fight her. Let her think she's got everything and then we'll tell the world what she's done. I can't. You'll get Ruby. She'll lose. I can't. You can. Because you're not going to be on your own. Not anymore. I'm going to be there every step. Yeah. I'll lie for you, Ty. <laughs> I'll dress these wounds for you, and if you'll let me, I'll hold you. No, you can't be involved. I am involved. <laughs> because I love you. No. Yeah. I do. Let me love you, Ty. <laughs> If you have been affected by Tyrone's story, you can call Mankind Initiative's National Helpline on 01823 334 Normal BT rates apply. Mobiles may cost considerably more. <laughs>